share. Aww. Hello there! Almost all of us are citizens of the online world, and the internet is the system that runs this world. The internet is so powerful! Indeed, anything can go viral in a blink of an eye. Whatever we say, post, or share, whether positive or negative, can immediately spread all over the online world before we even know it. But it is us who run the system, so we also are the ones who are fully in control of it. It's like... Hi dear, what is it today? Hmm, planning to update status? I just want to remind you. Use the power of the internet to spread positivity. You can also start to spread a harmful and untrue messages actually. Why not passing them on to others? Well, that's easy. And respect each other's differences. That's R E S P E C T. Respect? Well, 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 what do we have here? Thinking of something to post? Ooh, remember that one who called you loser, fat, and ugly? You can't let him get away with it. Go ahead and bring him on social media. Dear, ask yourself first, what will be the consequences? Will it result to something good? Nah, -uh, I don't think so. However, if you get mean and bullying comments, unfollow or block them, and also those with inappropriate behaviors. Make an effort to provide support to those being bullied to lift their morale and confidence. And kids, don't ever hesitate to speak up against and report online bullying. Now, to whom will you listen to? Aha! I think I know what to post. Treat others as you would like to be treated. Hashtag be internet kind. Hashtag it's cool to be kind. Share. How would you like to be treated? Simple as the golden rule says, treat others as you would like to be treated. Respect and expect to be respected. After all, what we give is what we get. So let's choose to be kind. Be internet kind, it's cool to be kind. Mabuhay! Isang mapagpalang araw sa ating lahat. Ako ang inyong lingkod, Tutor Match. Welcome sa ating Itulay, ang ating libreng online tutorial na hatid ng ating kagawaran ng edukasyon, ICTS EdTech. Ang programang ito ay inaasahang makatutulong at maging karagdagang kaalaman sa mga mag-aaral mula kinder hanggang senior high school. ALS, Alive, at SPED Learners. Bukod sa pagsagot ng mga modules, ang Itulay ay may mga special programs din na siguradong aabangan ninyo araw-araw. Katuwang ang ating mga minamahal na mga magulang at guro ay maitutulay natin ang pagkatuto. Kaya, ihanda na ang inyong module, lapis, papel o kwaderno. Ihanda rin ang isip, mata at tenga sa isa na namang makabuluhang aralin. Tayo nang matuto kasama ang inyong volunteer online tutor sa oras na ito. Happy Itulay Monday afternoon, senior high school students who are watching right now for our free online tutorial for General Chemistry 1, hatid ng DepEd EdTech Unit, DepEd TV. So uh, I am Tutor Ann from SDO Las Piñas and I am with uh, my partner sa chemistry. Okay, good afternoon everyone. I am your 
Tutor Abe, and we are welcoming you all for another productive time in learning general chemistry one. And syempre, we're here kasama pa rin ng ibang mga Ichulay tutors para matulungan namin kayo sa pagsagot sa iyong mga modules. Kindly share the link with the hashtag Itulay Level Up and Itulay uh, hashtag Itulay Ang Bayanihan kasi di ba sharing is caring. And also, tutor, uh, allow me to ano to have this opportunity to again remind the students that they can re revisit the yes. Facebook page ng Dep Ed Tech Ed Tech Unit, Dep Ed Dayo, at sa YouTube channel na rin ng Dep Ed Philippines, Dep Ed Ed Tech Unit, and Dep Ed TV. Tutor Anne, happy Teacher's Day together happy with... Happy Teacher's Day, Tutor Abe. <laughs> <laughs> happy okay, Teacher's shout Day out po na sa rin lahat no? ng teachers nationwide sa lahat po ng effort nyo. Alam ko na appreciate po yan ng ating mga estudyante all over the Philippines. Okay. So, saludo ako sa mga teachers na sobrang dedicated talaga sa mga sa profession natin. So, okay. So, like what we always do tutor Abay, so we always want to share this question to our students. How do you keep your sanity? Ito tutor Abay, medyo hugot ko ito. So, nilagay ko lang dito pero I, I know hugot din to ng maraming teachers, pero ito rin po kapag tayo ay pagod, ang tanging solusyon sa ating pagod ay magpahinga. So, mapapagod pero dititigil. Mag papahinga lang po ng konti. Pero tuloy-tuloy pa rin sa paggawa kasi may mga estudyante yung naka, naghihintay para sa atin, sa ating mga kilos. So alam ko naman na-appreciate yan ng mga estudyante natin. So this week, pasayin nyo mga teachers nyo po sa inyong mga kanya-kanya mga paaralan. So Chutra Bay, may mga move na ba mga estudyante mo sa'yo? Oo, meron na. Yung, uh, especially shout out sa advisory class ko ng grade 11 STEM Cusin Bing. So sobrang thoughtful nila. Okay, so una pa lang naman yan kasi kabubukas lang naman ng school year. Oh. So for this week, for week four, the most essential learning competency that we're going to discuss or to have is to write and balance the chemical equations and also construct mole or mass ratios for a reaction in order to calculate the amount of reactants needed or products formed in terms of moles or mass. So medyo mahaba yung uh, most essential learning competency, Chutra Bay, pero idaan natin sa mga examples para medyo mag madali siyang uh, oh, kaya, kaya nila yan. na mga estudyante natin. So shout out po sa mga students ko. Uh, from Las Piñas National High School, Senior High School, Section Independence and Influence. Yes, yes Tutor Bay, ay, you know, hindi ka papahuli. Pa-shout out. <laughs> Ayan, nandito sila. Actually, ang dami na nilang mga comments. Thank you for watching, especially Sige, sa mga mo muna, Tutor Bay. Them, ng Paranaque National High School, Main SDO Paranaque. Ayan, thank you so much for uh, uh, being with us. Alam ko na gusto ninyo madagdagan ng inyong learnings. So, shout out muna kay Dang Balagtas. Ako, tutor, uh, si tutor Tony, bigla ako na-pressure. Uh, we have Irish Jay, Francis Elijah. Parang lagi nagtatandaan si Francis Elijah. Yes, si Ken Joshua, Mark Benjo, hi. Jan Herbert de Leon, good afternoon po. Happy Teacher's Day po from uh, Grade 11 STEM, Bio. Si Dantley Ohano, Angeline Alminaza, Jana May Chamson, ayan. O, oh, Tutor Abay, uh, dahil magpe-present na ako, ikaw muna ang magtingin-tingin muna ng, ano, ng comment. Comments. Uh, para, kasi hindi, pag naka-full screen ako, hindi ako makakasulat eh, ng, sa, pag nagdi-discuss. So, Tutor Abay, tapos mamaya pag ikaw nagdi-discuss, ako na bahala sa comment. Naman. Okay. Okay, so for, uh, to start our lesson, guideline, here are the guidelines for writing and balancing chemical equation. So, here are the rules. Eh, pero gets na gets na to ng mga students natin, STEM students, kasi na takin na to sa kanilang junior high school. So, ito ay preliminary. Kailangan lang natin i-discuss in preparation for our topic on stoichiometry. So, number one, determine the correct chemical formulas for each reactant and product. So, dapat alam po ng mga estudyante natin ang pagsulat. Oops, di ko po natanggal. <laughs> Kindly remove this plus sign na lang. Disregard this plus sign. So, dapat daw po tama ang mga chemical formulas at saka symbol ng elements kapag iniligay natin siya sa chemical equation. So, uh, yun nga, step one, make sure na tama ang ating pagkakasulat. Next, write the skeleton equation. When you say skeleton equation, uh, kailangan uh, tama ang ating uh, meron tayong mga elements or uh, chemical compounds sa reactant side. Ito yung reactant side, yung mga na, sa left side ng equation and product side on the right side of the equation. And then number three, step three, count the number of atoms of each element that appears as a reactant and as a product. If a polyatomic ion is unchanged on both sides of the equation, 
count it as a unit. So makikita nyo po dito, NO3, silver nitrate po ito, isang silver is isang nitrate siya. And then on the product side, makikita nyo may parenthesis, may subscript na to, ibig sabihin dalawang nitrate siya. So kapag daw may polyatomic ion, you count it as a unit kapag hindi naman nagbago ang chemical formula. So we will balance this equation later. Okay, for number four, balance each element on at a time by placing coefficients in front of the formulas. A coefficient is a small whole number placed in front of a formula in an equation in order to balance it. Um, here are some rules under uh, step four. It is best to begin by balancing elements that only appear in one formula on each side. So dito, pwede naman uh, magsimula daw kayo sa mga elements. Para makikita nyo kagad, uh, si CU dito, isa lang. On the product side, isa lang din. So you may begin naman uh, sa kahit anong element. Uh, this is uh, just a trial and error activity. Kailangan nyo lang mabalanse eh, kung ilan si CU on the, on the left side, yun din dapat si CU on the right side. Ilan si silver on the reactant side, ilan si silver on the product side. And if the coefficient is 1, no need to indicate. Halimbawa po, kay coefficient dito, ilalagay po natin dito ay 1. Huwag na natin ilagay kasi 1 naman siya. Pag walang nakasulat dyan, it means 1 yon yung coefficient doon. Hindi na lang natin dapat, or hindi na natin kailangang indicate pa. Uh, for letter C, never change the subscripts in a chemical formula. You can only balance equations by using coefficient. I remember, Tutor Abey, may mga estudyante na nahirapan sa balancing chemical equation. Dito nila nilalagay in the middle of the chemical compound. Halimbawa, mm -hmm. kailangan nilang gawing ano to, 2. Two. Yung NO3, di ba? 2 doon. Ang ginagawa nila, nag insert sila ng 2 dito. Hindi po. Sabi dito, uh, um, you should uh, place the coefficient beside each chemical formula. So dito nyo lang siya ilalagay beside the chemical compound. Yan. Mm -hmm. Kasi isang buo siya, tutor ano? Yes, kasi as a compound siya. Hindi kayo dapat mag-insert in the middle of the chemical formula. Okay, so syempre mga theoretical mga rules natin yan. Mamaya kailangan may apply natin yan para makita talaga natin kung naintindihan mm -hmm. natin yung mga rules. Number five, check each atom or polyatomic ion to be sure that they are equal on both sides of the equation. Kailangan ko ilan yung mga polyatomic ion sa uh, reactant side, yun din dapat sa product side. Yung nalang element sa reactant side, yun din dapat ang sa product side. Also, make sure that all coefficients are in the lowest possible ratio. If necessary, reduce the lowest ratio. Kung baga sa mathematics, may sinisimplify. So, kailangan isimplify natin siya. So, madali lang naman yung makita kung hindi siya nakasimplify. Kapag divisible by 2, kapag meron silang common na number, so kailangan pa natin yung isimplify. And of course, kailangan memorize natin to. I remember po sa mga students ko, uh, para matandaan nila yung uh, mga diatomic molecules, uh, ginawa, um, and I'm sure ginagamit to ng mga chemistry teachers nyo din. So, ang, ang mnemonics na ginagamit ko is Huckleberry Finn. Anong ibig sabihin ng Huckleberry Finn? So, hydrogen, oxygen, chlorine, uh, bromine, fluorine, iodine, and nitrogen. Lahat po sila ay diatomic molecules. So, kapag tinanong kayo or, or you are thinking, diatomic molecules ba yon Check nyo, part ba siya ng Huckleberry Finn? So, ang Huckleberry Finn is again, hydrogen, oxygen, chlorine, bromine, fluorine, iodine, and nitrogen. They exist diatomically. Okay? Dalawang atom attached together. Okay. So, ayan po yung example natin. So, uh, we will try to balance uh, this example uh, para ma 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 test natin or ma-check natin kung naalala pa ng mga students natin ang pagbabalance. So, first is you are going to line up all the elements present in the chemical equation or in the chemical formula. I mean, the chemical reaction. Okay, so we have Cu, Ag, Nitrogen, and Oxygen. Let us count the number of Cu on the reactant side. We have one. On the product side, we also have one. On the reactant side, si silver, we have one. And on the product side, kung titingnan nyo, si silver, isa lang din. So let's put here one. For nitrogen, we have one. And on the reactant side, and on the product side, eto yung sa parenthesis po, dahil may two dito, you have to distribute these two. 
one nitrogen times two, so the number of nitrogen is two, and oxygen three times two, six. So we have to multiply that. So yung oxygen sa right side ay six. Yung oxygen sa reactant side ay uh, three. So mapapansin nyo na hindi balance eh. Okay, hindi siya balance. Dahil hindi siya balance, we have to think of a way on uh, on what coefficient should I write there para maging balance siya. So to do that, try natin dito kay AgNO3 kasi si Ag ay parehas naman silang 1. So lalagyan, eh, per, uh, however, si NO3, si N dito ay 1 lang, si oxygen dito ay 3. However, on the reactant side, si nitrogen ay 2, si oxygen ay 6. So, I have to put times 2 here. So, times 2 kay AG. Pero, syempre, maa-apektuhan si silver. Kasi, i-distribute tong 2 na to kay silver, kay nitrogen, at saka kay oxygen. So, multiply natin yan. So, magiging, ang bilang na ng AG ay 2, ang bilang ni nitrogen ay 2, ang bilang ni oxygen ay 6. So, kung mapapansin nyo, balansin na si oxygen, balansin na rin si nitrogen, However, si silver ay hindi na siya naging balanse kasi naging 2 sa reactant side. So, syempre, ang gagawin natin ay lalagyan natin ng coefficient 2 on the right side. So, magiging 2 na rin siya. So, at this point, balanse na po ang ating chemical uh, reaction or yung chemical equation natin. Okay, so okay. Uh, the reason why I, why I presented this one kasi... This is a preliminary pag nag-compute na kayo ng stoichiometry. So sa stoichiometry, magko-convert kayo ng mole to mole, mole to mass, mass to mass. At yan naman po ang i-discuss natin sa atin ni Tutor Abey. Tutor Abey? Mm -hmm. Okay, Tutor. Ang hinga ng konti kasi parang oh, sobrang tuloy-tuloy oh, talaga yung discussion ng ano, pag-balance ng equation kasi sobrang importante naman siya. So shout out muna tayo kay Jamel, John Paul, Iko Von, Ashley. Ayan, si Richmond, John Paul, si Sean, Cherry May, Cassandra, Irene, Mac Joven. Ayan, thank you so much. Nag-greet din sila ng Happy Teacher's Day. So, uh, yung ginawa ni Tutor Anna pag-explain sa atin sa balance equation, sobrang importante niya kasi hindi natin masasolve yung problem solving sa stoichiometry kung hindi natin mababalance yung equation. So, all through, that would be the very first step, di ba, Tutor Ann? So, for us to solve for the mole, of the, of the substance A, papunta yan kay mole of, of the product or, or the other reactants, rather. So, ibig sabihin, we have to get the values of those numbers dun sa balance equation. So, mamaya, mas maiintindihan nyo yan kapag nagpakita kami sa inyo ng example. Pero, ilagay muna natin sa ating uh, isip na for us to transfer the mole of, of A and then papunta kay mole B, we have to consider the balance equation. So, ganun kay importante yung balance equation. Yes. Next slide. Yes. Chitter N? M po. Chitter B. Okay. So, for that, for the second, uh, kasi hindi lang naman palagi mole ang, uh, ang, ang given natin papunta sa another mole ng substance. There are sometimes ang given sa problem natin, nag-start sa mass, papunta sa mole. So, ito ngayon yung magiging step natin. The mass A of the substance will be converted into mole A, then the mole A converted to the mole B. Medyo nadagdagan ng process, pero don't worry, uh, parehas lang din naman yung gagawin natin. Then, yung mole B papunta kay mass B. Kung mapapansin niyo sa kaninang inexplain ko, si mole A papunta kay mole B. If the given in the problem is in mole, there are sometimes the given is actually in mass or in grams. So, i-convert natin siya sa grams din ng isa pang substance. So, this would be the, the process on that. We're in... For us to convert the mass of A, papunta kay mole of A, we have to get the molar mass, which is na-discuss natin last week, no, Tutor Ann? So, alam na yes, nila yan. The molar mass. Then, mm -hmm. then, for mole A, papunta kay mole B, yun. That's the, that's the process of getting the balance equation first. Kasi yung values na gagamitin natin for mole A, papunta kay mole B, coming from the balance equation. Then, for mole B, papunta kay mass B, ganun din. Molar mass din, kagaya ng uh, ginawa natin sa very first step natin. 
And I guess, Tutor Abey, mas kayang-kaya nilang i-apply na yan dito sa Oo. problem na ini-ready natin para sa kanila. Sige po, Tutor Abey. Okay. So let's start with the very first problem. Kung mapapansin ninyo, sabi sa problem, how many moles of copper or CU is needed to react with 3.55 moles of AgNO3 or silver nitrate? Dito pa lang sa problem, kapag nakita ninyo that the unit being used is mole, Tapos, ang tinatanong sa atin is how many moles then? So, ibig sabihin, mag-uumpisa tayo sa mole, based from the given, papunta rin sa mole ng isa pang substance. So, we will be starting with the formula or uh, para lang ma-figure out ninyo yung pattern natin. No? So, mole A papunta kay mole B. So, we will be starting with the given 3.55 moles of AgNO3. kailangan natin siyang papuntahin or convert sa moles ni, or makuha, rather, yung moles ni copper para makumpleto natin yung reaction. Then, i-rewrite lang natin si 3.55 moles of AgNO3. Then, we're going to multiply it using the factor label method. Then, dito, Tatandaan ninyo that the given, kung ano yung given natin na unit, yun din ang ilalagay natin as denominator or sa ilalim para ma-cancel natin siya later on kasi we will not be using that anymore. Ang kailangan natin ay yung hinahanap sa problem which is the mole of copper. Okay, ngayon, saan natin kukuhanin yung mole ni copper at yung moles ni silver nitrate? Yun yung ginamit natin na balance equation kanina. Wherein, si copper, based on the balance equation, wala naman siyang coefficient, so understood it's only 1. So, 1 mole of copper divided by sa moles ni AgNO3, which is 2 doon sa balance equation natin. Okay, so that would be the, the, the solution for that. And all we have to do is to calculate the, uh, the process. So, 3.55 times 1 divided by 2. The answer so, is... Ipapuha natin sa kanila yung sagot. Ay, sige. Kindly oh, type in sa, sa na comment na section. Uh -oh. Kindly type in sa comment section kung anong makukuha niyong answer dito. Uh, let us uh, wait for our wait. students to solve for this, Tutor Abay. Uh -oh. And let's read kung anong may lalagay nilang answer sa comment section. Okay, 3.55 times 1 divided by 2. That is how to get the mole of copper. copper. And let us not forget na... Oh, apatin tayo. Ayan, na, huwag natin kalimutan na mag... Cancel. <laughs> okay, may nabasa na akong sagot, Tutor Anne. According kay Jose Lito, 1.775 moles of CU. 1.775, so tama naman ito, Tutor Abay, no? Uh Oo. -oh. 1.775, the unit now is mole of CU. CU. Okay, 1.78 for Mark Benjo. So, pwede naman, no? i-round off na natin. 1.775. For Mark Gian, same with Danica Umbao, ayan. Frances Elijah, ito yung mga students natin na talaga nagko-compute. Mark Joven, ayan, ang dami na sumagot. So I think, naiintindihan nila yung process. So they come up having 1.775 or 1.78 moles of copper. So ibig sabihin lang yan, the 1.775 is actually the amount needed to react with 3.55 moles of silver nitrate for the completion of the chemical reaction. Okay, so Sitter. yan po ay problem on uh, converting mole to mole. So mole of A to mole of uh, the other substance, mole of B. So, Chutra Bay, uh, are we going to proceed na to our next problem? We're good na with this problem? Oo, tapos na. At marami nakakuha ng answers. So, tatalino talaga okay. ng ating mga chutis. Okay, so the next prob uh, the next problem is if 90.5 grams of silver was produced, how many grams of CU reacted? So, Chutra Bay, same ano lang tayo? Uh -oh, same equation. equation. So, uh, I would like to write muna the pattern that we are going to follow para uh, maka, makasunod yung ating mga students. So, we have, um, since ang given ay grams, so, ilagay natin dito mass of A, then we're going to convert that to mole of A, then from mole of A, co-convert natin yan kay mole of B, and then we're going to convert that to mass of 
B. So in this case, uh, magmamass, tumuol muna tayo using the molar mass. And then dito naman yung balance equation and then molar mass. So students, kung yung kaninang problem ay mole of A to mole of B, so isang uh, step lang siya, this time three steps siya to get mass of A to mass of B. So let us write the, the data. So we have 90.5, ah, dito ko na nasa baba, so 90.5 grams, so alam natin na mass yan, of silver. Um, how many grams of CU reacted? So to react completely this 90.5 grams of silver, kailangan makompute natin siya. And of course, we need the balance equation. And make sure that you have the correct ba and correct and balance equation para hindi tayo magkamali. Mm -hmm. So dito... Uh, like what uh, Tutor Abe said kanina, you will just copy the unit, grams of silver, and then ano, mass of A to mole. Magko-convert muna tayo, mass to mole. So definitely, pag mass to mole, kailangan natin yung mass ni silver. Tutor Abe, do you have a copy of the mass of silver there? Yes. Uh, tignan natin. Baka pwede rin mag-share yung mga students kasi di ba, we instruct them to get the periodic table with them. So, ano oh, kayang mass ng ating mass silver? The mass of silver, check ko rin sa aking periodic table. Okay. I think it's 108. Okay, so 108, Chuter Abay. Mm -hmm. The mass of silver is 108. So, I'll, let me write that here. In one mole of silver, meron tayong 108 grams ni silver pwede na po tayo maglagi dito ng multiplication sign. Idaretso na natin. Mm -hmm. Kasi pag kinancel natin ito, na-convert na natin from grams of oh. silver now to mole of silver. Then the next step is mole of silver to mole of anong substance hinanap natin? Uh, CU. So, kukonvert natin. Oops, na mole. Okay, so dito... We'll just copy whatever the, uh, the unit in the numerator. We'll just copy that in the denominator. Mm -hmm. So mole of AG and in here mole of CU. C Definitely, we are going to get the data that is presented in our balanced equation. So what is the relationship of CU and AG? Uh, students in, our, in the comment section. Ah, uh, tutor and yung ang uh, sagot nila yun nandoon sa mass ni silver pa rin. So ano what ako, do you think? Oh, ano ba nila? Mass uh -huh. silver. Okay po. Okay, sa so, the relationship of CU and silver is sa uh, kada uh, sa, sa balance equation, isang mole ng CU we have uh 2 AG. Okay? So, yan ang ratio niya. Sa kada isang CU, may mapoproduce siyang dalawang AG. Okay, next. Okay. You will Tutor Ann, according to... Yes, I'm sorry, Tutor Ann. According kay Edward Bagay, one mole of copper is two mole of AG. So, talaga nakasunod siya. Yes, one mole of copper is equal to two, mol, two moles of AG. Yes, magagaling talaga mga estudyante, mga STEM students natin. Okay, so we have... Uh, now that we have mole of AG, we can cancel this now. At ang matitirang unit natin ngayon ay mole ng copper. copper. So, uh, and then we will write again this. We will copy this in the denominator. And we will now get the molar mass. Nandito na tayo sa step na to. The molar mass of copper. Okay, Chuter Abay, do you have a copy of the molar mass or mass of copper? Yes, so, according to... Mole? Yes po. According to my copy, sa periodic table, one mole of copper is equivalent to 64 grams of copper. Okay, so 64 grams. You will notice, students, na na-cancel na natin yung mga units and the remaining unit is now grams of copper. So whatever answer we have here, tama yung magiging sagot natin kasi... Uh, tama yung cancellation of units and also we are looking for the grams of copper. And yung nakuha nating final answer, ang unit niya ay grams ng copper. Okay, let us try to solve. Let us ask our students in the comment section. Kindly type in your answer and we will read your answers. Kindly also include 
the name of your school para po ma-recognize. So last uh, last week Tutor Abey nakarating tayo hanggang Davao. Oh, oh, May mga students tayo from Davao. Dito kaya tingnan natin kung hanggang oh. saan ang narating ng ating tutorial na ito. Okay. Anong school kaya si Edward Bagay? Kasi kanina pa siya nagpa-participate at may sagot na siya, Tutor Anne. According to him, it's 26.81 grams of copper. 26.81. Okay. Based on our, uh, based on the formula, tama naman po, Tutor Abey, ang ating yes, answer. Po sa uh, problem na ito. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, si 90.5 grams of silver, para ma-produce ang 90.5 grams ng silver, kakailanganin natin ng 26.81 grams ng copper. copper. Ulit, si copper kasi ay nasa reactant side. Para daw makapag-produce siya ng 90.5 grams ng silver, kakailanganin natin ng 26.81 grams ng copper. So dito, 26.81 grams ng copper para makapag-produce tayo ng 90.5 grams ng silver. So yan, nag-gets naman. Kahit medyo magulo yung sulat, Tutor Abay, madulas kasi yung sulatan. So uh, nag-gets naman ang ating mga students at nakuha nila ang ating ang solution. So this problem is about mass to mass. Kung mapapansin nyo, grams ang given, grams din ang final answer. Na-convert yung mass of A to mole of A, mole of A to mole of B, mole of B to mass of B. And what uh, uh, the, the next problem is about, paano kapag hindi naman mass ang given? So, Tutor Abey, will you help us kapag hindi naman mass ang given? Okay, yes, Tutor Anne. So, in this example, so, the problem itself, Tutor Anne, the problem? I am. <laughs> 15 moles of NaClO3 will produce how many grams of O2? Kanina, sa example ni Tutor Ann, nag-start tayo sa grams. Medyo mahaba yung process ni Tutor Ann. That would be the, the longest, no? So this time naman, medyo uh, bawas tayo ng counting step kasi nag-start na tayo sa mole. So we are not going to convert any more, any more mole to mole. So we will be starting with 15 moles of NaClO3. We're in kailangan natin makuha kung ilang grams yung kailangan nating oxygen for the completion of reaction. So, 15 moles of NaClO3. Then we have to look for the mass or the grams of oxygen gas. Okay. Then, rewrite uh, re lang natin for the solution. So, we have 15 moles of NaClO3. Okay. So, Tutor Anne, lagay din natin yung pattern para mas masundan nila. So, we have here mole of A papunta kay mole of Sorry, Tutor B. Ay. Yeah. Okay. Then, papunta tayo kay Okay. Okay, so start na tayo. So 15 moles of NaClO3, multiply it by the value of, sa ilalim natin ilit, ilalagay yung mole para makancel sila. Mamaya na natin lagyan ng values, yung munang mga units. Then sa taas, we have to get the mole of the substance or yung hinahanap natin, which is the O2. Okay. So, according to the balance equations, yun namin yung sinabi natin kanina, no? Kapag parehas mole yung nasa taas at nasa baba, use the balance equation. So, according to that, we have 3 moles of oxygen gas. Then, we have 2 moles of NaClO3. Okay. Then, cancel natin yung moles ni NaClO3 para uh, disregard na natin siya. Then, let's continue the process. We are going to multiply it papunta dun sa hinahanap natin. So, this time, mole ulit sa ilalim para makancel natin siya. Moles of oxygen, punta ngayon sa hinahanap natin na mass ni oxygen gas. Okay? So, this time, always remember, kapag ang isa ay grams at ang isa ay mole, laging one mole lang yon. Ha? Hindi nyo kukuhanin yung data sa balance equation. 
then you will be getting the molar mass of oxygen gas. So 16 times 2 is 32. So that would be the molar mass. And yun na yun. That would be the, the okay, answer now. Ask our students the comment section ulit. And also kindly include the name of your school. Oo, so tingnan natin. Para ma shout out naman natin. Tutor and yeah, pa-cancel na lang siguro ng moles ni ah, oxygen yes. gas, no? Para mas makita nila na yung, yun na yung matitira, yung grams ni O2. So we are just waiting for the value. 15 times 3 divided by 2, then multiply it by 32. That would be the grams of oxygen gas needed. Okay, hintayin natin ang mga students natin, pero may mga nakita na ako dito. Inabasa nga ako kanina, di pa kulaw eh. Parang sa Aurora yata yun. Meron okay. pang... Uh, meron pa mention ito. siguro ng school. Si Edward, parang gusto kong malaman kung, sa, kung taga sa ang school si Edward Bagay. Actually, tinatry kong makipag-communicate sa teacher nila sa chemistry. Hintayin natin. Ah, baka makipag-collab uh, sa atin. Ayan, Chitra, Chitra Bay, may sumagot na. Oo, Ang may sumagot na. Ay, si Edward Bagay, 720 grams. Si Danica Umbao, 720 grams din of oxygen gas. Okay, so tingnan natin. Kung, ay, siyempre, uh, tinignan ko sa list sa uh, ating uh, Calculator problem. Then. 720 grams of Oxygen, oxygen gas. gas. Okay. Ayan, may mga pare-pare sila ng answers. Cindy, si Diane, si Jay, si Ken Joshua from Paranaque National High School, Maine. Lubao National High School, according to Jay Santos, it's 720. Parang natatandaan ko si Jay Santos. Okay, Lubao? Have... Uh, saan kaya yung Lubao? Saan ba yung Lubao? Ayoko mag-mention ng province, baka mali. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think Parang madali para sa kanila yung topic, no? Kasi okay. talagang... Actually, na matapang lang siyang pakinggan, stoichiometry, mm -hmm. pero nakakatawa lang. Para ka lang nagko-convert-convert ng one unit to another. Kasi nga, we are just using factor label method. Mm -hmm. So, um, marami namang students na nakakuha na, Tutor Abey. Yes, Tutor and sobrang dami nila. So, meron pa rito si Jan Herbert de Leon, Paranaque National High School, Maine. Leia Perez, Las Piñas National High School, Maine. Senior High School, si Fritz Casas, Leia Perez, Jana May Chamson, Iverson Kilatan. Ayan, sobrang dami. Ang fast Iverson learner Kilatan ng mga students natin. Yeah, no? Okay, so Tutor Abey, so that concludes our lesson for week 4 sa ating... Uh, sa ating most essential learning competency. So, bilang paghahanda, so let us ask our students to ready their calculator for next week. Aside from calculator, they must have with them periodic table. Kasi ang lesson natin next week ay about percent yield and theoretical yield. Okay? And of course, um, gusto din namin na i-share sa inyo na ang mga programs na offer ng DepEdTech Tech Unit, itulay online tutorial para sa senior high school. We have All is Wellness, Coding and Robotics, Safety and First Aid, Earth and Life Science, General Chemistry 1, General Biology 1, Mami Tech Talks, Level Up. So kasabay natin ang uh, Earth and Life Science. So para sa mga students mm -hmm. din ng 11. So yan ay... Uh, hatid ng DepEd EdTech Unit. So for our feedback form, Chutter Abey. Yes, Chutter Ann, before that, according to Jay Santos, Pampanga po yung Lubao. Ah, oh, wow. Oh, na thank Pampanga. you so Dabo much. Lang. At least, <laughs> oh, oh, saan kaya tayo sa susunod dada? Can we share this uh, platform para po maraming mm -hmm. students ang makareceive ng ganitong free online tutorial. Okay, okay. so for your uh, feedback uh, and suggestions so you can have the link here so you can be able to uh, share your insights about sa pwede naman kung paano ninyo na appreciate yung e life paano ba kami nakatulong sa inyo so kindly share that or kung meron kayong mga suggestions and comments so you are free to uh, see it there Tutor Ann. Okay, so ayan po ang ating QR code for feedback form for senior high school itulay online tutorial. For, ayan po, muli ako si Tutor Ann from SDO Las Piñas and with me is my partner. I am uh, Tutor Abey. Again, sasabihin namin ulit, sama-sama natin itulay ang pagkatuto. 
sama-sama natin itulay ang bayan yan para sa mga batang Pilipino. Salamat po sa pag okay. God bless everyone. See you next time. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo ring panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!